Good morning. Good morning. Wow, what a crowd. This is awesome. <laughs> um, on behalf of the National Park Service, I'm pleased to welcome you to Andersonville National Cemetery and Andersonville National Historic Site. I'm Gia Wagner. I'm the superintendent here. Um, the staff and I, along with all these fantastic volunteers, um, want to personally thank you for observing Raise Across America with us this holiday season. We are really grateful for those who helped us successfully hold this event. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of love, uh, it's a lot of perseverance. Uh, these guys are amazing in getting all these wreaths here. So um, we'll begin today by play, paying respect to our American flag. Please rise for the presentation of the colors by the American Legion Post 30 Color Guard and remain standing for the national anthem if you are able. Please remain standing while Sheriff Bryant comes up to the podium for the invocation. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you again for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, dear Lord, for the lives of those that are present here today. And thank you for the remembrance of those that we will be honoring today. Thank you, dear Lord, for your love, your protection, and your peace. We thank you, dear Lord, for those families that will be honored here today. We thank you, dear Lord, for those graves that will be remembered today. And we thank you for those attending today's ceremony. We thank you, dear Lord, for safe travels. We thank you for this season. We ask now, dear Lord, these and all other blessings. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Andersonville National Cemetery is the final resting place for over 20,000 military service members who served, fought, suffered, and died for their country. We are entrusted with their eternal care and charged with not only honoring their memory, but also ensuring that the depths of their sacrifices are understood by new generations. 
Breeze Across America furthers these goals with the help of many wonderful partners. We would like to give special thanks to a few groups that have provided support in so many ways to the entire park here at Andersonville. First, first of all, Bennett International Family of Companies and the Taylor Foundation, Friends of Andersonville, American Ex-Prisoners of War, Sumter County Sheriff's Office, Rays Across America, of course, our many wreath ambassadors, Truist Bank, Food Depot, South Georgia Technical College, National Society of the Daughters of the Union, and Citizens Bank of America. We're extremely grateful for all our partners and supporters. Your extraordinary efforts and determination to honor those buried here at Andersonville has made this event a success already. I want to invite Lee Gentry, Executive Vice President of the Bennett Family of Companies and the driver of this event, 100%. Without Lee, this, we wouldn't all be here right now, honestly. So Lee, can you come up to the podium? Thank you, Gia. Good morning. Good morning. They talked about rain, but guess what? They held it off just for us. Well, good morning and welcome to this very special day. And thank you for everyone at Andersonville National Cemetery for allowing us to be a part of this day of remembrance. We are all very humbled and blessed to be here to remember and honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice and to teach our youth the importance of freedom. These wreaths we will place today came from the support and gracious giving of many people, and we are so grateful for their generosity. We'd like to thank our Bennett family of companies, the Taylor Foundation, our board of directors, Mrs. Taylor, our CEO, and their gracious giving. Mrs. Taylor, thank you for being here with us today. We know that you are here because of your strong values and commitment. If I didn't extend an invitation to everyone who would like to join our ambassador team for next year. We do have request forms on the table in the center tent. If you'd like to be a part of our ambassador team, we'd love to have you join us. And along with the Reese Across America Wreath sponsor information and apparel. So today we're going to be honoring three families. If you would like to put in a request to honor your family who are laid to rest here, please fill out the form there. Next, I would like to say a special thank you to Sheriff Bryant for his advice, support, and encouragement, and his example to all of us, his love of country, and past and present men and women in uniform. I'd like to thank the Mayor of Americas for his kindness and support, Americas Police Chief, as well as the store manager of Lowe's and his team for allowing us to share the mission at his store on Veterans Day. I shared this story a couple of times here, but I want to share it again as I believe it shows the efforts of all of you. When I first came to Andersonville in 2017, I met Jim Covington, and unfortunately, he
He's not here today because he's not feeling well. He shared with me that his goal was to cover each grave with a wreath, but he doubted that would happen in his lifetime because that meant we would need to place to access over 20,000 wreaths. Well, Jim, we did it, and we did it the third year in a row. We were just recently in Maine. I want to share a statement that I read there in the Reese Across America Museum. And it reads this. To be killed in war is not the worst thing that can happen. To be lost is not the worst that can happen. To be forgotten is the worst. We will never forget. Thank you all again for being here. Merry Christmas. God bless America Amen. and our men and women who provide our freedom every single day. Wow. Next, I'd like to introduce the president and CFO of the Bennett family of companies, Mr. David Pittman. I have an amazing opportunity that I get to work with that man every day. It's pretty special. God bless America. Land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. May God bless your families. It sure is a blessing to be up here and see so many families out here today. Um, you're standing up for those who cannot stand up anymore all across this nation. It's really a privilege and, a, and an honor to be here once again with Lee and all the Bennett folks and your families to, to do kind of what we're called to do, and that's be patriotic folks. It is nice to see that we have flags flying on vans that travel up and down the highways to show our patriotism. The message here is remember, honor, and teach. And you've kind of already done the first two because you're here to remember and you're here to honor. But the hard part is the teaching part. That doesn't stop today, but it absolutely starts today. So as you're out there placing the wreaths, proper way to replace those reefs. It's not about a contest about how fast we can do this. Those across this nation who gave their lives served our country tirelessly for years after years after years. Today is our day to honor them. Pick up a wreath. Call out the name on the tombstone. Place it. Salute it. And move on the next one. You will leave here today with joy in your heart that you did not arrive here with, I promise you. And if you don't have the Christmas spirit, when you take your picture of this cemetery today, place of the reefs, it'll be so touching to you that you'll want to share with others. And next year, we'll see even more people here. Each of us are called to serve. It's how we choose to serve that matters. I'd invite you to join us each and every year to make sure this continues on. That is not just a mark in time. It's not just a mark of 10 years. Something special is starting here seven years ago. And if we don't keep it going, we lost that teaching moment. God bless you. Merry Christmas. May God bless America. Thank you, David. <clears throat> Again, thank you to everyone who's continued to make this yearly event a reality. 
Lee Gentry, who you just, just met, the Bennett family of companies, and the Taylor Foundation, along with our wreath ambassadors, work all year long to make this event a reality. They are relentless in the pursuit of wreaths. I'd like to also recognize the staff and volunteers of Andersonville National Historic Site today, too. They work hard to meet our mission of telling the stories of all American prisoners of war and making sure that we're preserving those for future generations so that none of us forget those who have sacrificed for our country. They run and care for this national cemetery every single day and we have an amazing support staff without whom none of this work could get done. Today I mostly want to thank our veterans and their families. Today and throughout this holiday season, we hope all of you will take a moment to appreciate and reflect on our service members who are not with us today. They're spending the holidays far from home, often in harm's way, and the sacrifices made by those their families. We thank you for coming out to honor and remember our veterans and to teach new generations about the price paid for our freedom. To those who have served or are now serving the military, thank you so much for your service. All of you, I know you're out there. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to invite John Trussell to speak on behalf of the Sons of the American Revolution. Today is my honor to represent John Dodd, President General of the National Sons of the American Revolution, as we join the mission of Reese Across America, as it is to, to remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. Reese Across America has chosen Serve and Succeed as its 2023 theme to encourage everyone to become involved in their own communities, to serve and succeed in their own ways. One of the patriotic, historical, and educational purposes of the Sons of the American Revolution is to perpetuate the memory of those who served by their services or sacrifices during the War of the American Revolution achieved the independence of the American people. The Sons of the American Revolution seeks to foster cooperative arrangements with patriotic organizations such as Reefs Across America in pursuit of our common goals to honor, respect, and support veterans and to inspire our communities to a more profound reverence for the principles of government founded by our forefathers. As we stand here today, let us remember the Andersonville Prisoner of War Museum and the many sacrifices of the missing in action from our armed services around the world. Looking back to the American Revolution, as many as 18,000 American patriots died in British prisons and prison ships. Today, Saturday, December the 16th, is also a very special day as it is the 250th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party, and it has been designated by the Reefs Across America as the date for these reef laying ceremonies to occur. President John Dodd, President General of the National Society of uh, the American uh, Sons of the American Revolution, encourages all compatriots to join with more than two million volunteers and supporters of Reefs Across America and other patriotic community and veterans organizations to date to participate in ceremonies and activities and to find ways to serve and succeed in our communities. May God continue to bless the United States of America and all the men of our, our armed services. Thank you. Thank you, John. At this time, we will honor each branch of our armed forces, prisoners of war, and those missing in action with special wreath presentation. I ask the wreath presenters and their escorts to prepare to approach and place your wreath here in front of the rostrum. The Army flag, Steve and Stephanie Taylor pulling the Army trailer No? Ah, there we go. I'm sorry. We'll present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Army.
Kelly Detmer with Bennett Motor Express pulling the Marine trailer will present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Marine Corps. Curtis Haney with Ace Duran pulling the Navy trailer will present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Navy. Captain Caitlin Price, Army Reservist in Andersonville National Historic Site Lead Ranger, will present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Air Force. Brett and Stephanie Taylor pulling the Ace Duran Race Across America trailer will present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Space Force. James Jones from Bennett Motor Express pulling the 13 Fallen trailer will present a wreath to remember those who have served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard. Fred Boyles, Navy Reserve Veteran, Chairman of the Friends of Andersonville, and former National Park Service Superintendent, will present a wreath to remember those who have served or are serving in the Merchant Marine. Donna Padgett, Bennett Motor Express, Director of Financial Planning and Analysis, 
Proudly presents a wreath to remember those who are missing in action or prisoners of war. In honor of her uncle, Marine Corps Gunnery Sergeant James Wesley Jackson Jr. Missing in action from the Vietnam War. This completes the Armed Forces Wreath Presentation portion of our program. I'd like to invite Lee Gentry back to the podium to highlight and honor a few of our veterans. Today, we are here to honor three special families. and their loved ones who serve this great country. First, Walter Jerry Riddle, Captain, U.S. Army and A1C U.S. Air Force, born December 24, 1940, died August 29, 2023. Walter Riddle was born here in, Mo in Montezuma, Georgia. After high school, Jerry enlisted in the U.S. Air Force working as a nuclear weapons specialist. But that was not his plan. His plan was to fly. So when his enlistment was up, he joined the U.S. Army. The Army desperately needed pilots, helicopter pilots to go to Vietnam. He served in Vietnam for two years receiving the Bronze Star for her heroic achievement in combat and the Distinguished Flying Cross for volunteering for a mission that nearly cost him his life. Walter served through 13 and a half years in the military, but Walter would tell you he was no hero. He saw heroes in Vietnam. He lost his tent mate and best friend, watching as a Huey crashed under enemy fire. There were many heroes in Vietnam. He said a few of them came home. However, he would be proud to be recognized with these veteran heroes who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their freedom. Jerry returned to Montezuma after his distinguished military service to start as a crop dusting business. Later, he worked as a truck driver, warehouse manager, and retired from Robbins Air Force Base. Jerry is survived by his loving wife, Julia Snipes Riddle, two daughters, Matria and Luana, four grandchildren, Hannah, Jackson, Ava, and Stephen. Jerry loved his country and served it proudly. We honor and thank Captain Walter Jerry Riddle for his service. Presenting the wreath in his honor was Polly Trotter. This afternoon we honor Desmond Campbell. Desmond Campbell was born on June 12, 1998 and passed away on June 14, 2023. He is the son of Albert Campbell and Christy Robinson of Americus, Georgia. Des, as he is, was officially affectionately called by his family and friends, possessed a kind and thoughtful spirit. Growing up and receiving his education from schools of Sumter County with honor and distinction. Desmond was one of a kind early as he respected his elders, always showing appreciation helping others, and he never gave his mother a day of problems. Desmond was loud, outgoing, always made silly faces, and he had a great smile. He could turn anyone's bad day into a great day. Desmond loved playing sports, especially basketball with his friends. Desmond was always thinking outside the box to come up with ideas to help himself and others. Desmond joined the military at the age of 21 in 2019. He graduated with basic training at Fort Leonard where he became a 12B combat engineer, received his first good conduct medal and army service ribbon. Then on to become a soldier in the 1st Cavalry. His job was to learn and train on the Bradley fighting vehicles to protect the people of these United States. Desmond received the Global War and Terrorism Award Good to Conduct medals along with other awards. 
Desmond was a great goddad and was the best son, brother, godfather, uncle, cousin, and friend that anyone could ask for. Desmond retired in, as a 2022 as a disabled veteran. Desmond loved this country and served it proudly. We honor and thank Specialist Desmond Campbell for his service. Presenting the wreath in his honor today was Danny Lowry. This afternoon, we honor Luther H. Story. Luther was born on July 20th, 1932, and passed away on September 1st, 1950. He was the son of Mark and Florence Story of Marion County, Georgia. At the age of four, he moved to Plains, Georgia. While attending his sophomore year at America's High School, he decided to join the Army and serve his country. He went to Korea to serve his country, while there, his company came against a major attack. He saw a truck and a trailer coming down the road with fresh ammo and enemy troops. He told his leaders of the approaching vehicle, but before coming surrounded by the enemy, his commander told everyone to retreat. He didn't. He stood in the middle of the road with approaching truck and started throwing grenades. Story was wounded in his actions but disregarding his wounds, rallied the men about him and repelled the attack. Realizing that his wounds would hamper his comrades, he refused to retire to the next position, but remained to cover his company's withdrawal. He was last seen firing every weapon available and fighting off another hostile assault. He was killed in combat on September 1st, 1950. His father was presented with the Medal of Honor by General Omar Bradley. For 73 years, he was missing in action. On Memorial Day, May 29, 2023, Luther Story was returned to his community and laid to rest in Andersonville National Cemetery. Welcome home. He was survived by his niece, Judy Wade, nephew, Hollis Story, cousin, Vicki Buford, a great nephew, great, great nephew, and a great, great niece. Luther's extraordinary heroism, aggressive leadership, and supreme devotion to duty. He loved his country and his fellow military brothers by giving his life to protect theirs. We honor and thank Corporal Luther H. Story for his service and sacrifice. Presenting the wreath in his honor this afternoon was Donna Pageant. Please stand for the playing of taps. Thank you, Lee, and thank you for TAPS. That man has been playing TAPS here since World War II. Right? Thank you to the families who are here today um, and for sharing your stories of your loved ones with us. That means a lot. Um, if you have a veteran, friend, or family member interred in any national cemetery, I want to make you aware that you can share their stories on the Veterans Legacy Memorial website, 
maintained by the VA National Cemetery Administration. We had brochures at the tents with the green tops on them. Um, please, I encourage you to get one of those because they really want to fill up that, uh, share the legacy of all of our veterans with everyone. Um, you can load photos, pictures, stories, you can write something, um, take a picture of a special memento, anything like that. Um, so I'd like to again acknowledge the staff of Andersonville National Historic Site for their service to the park and for honoring our veterans and their families every single day. They thoughtfully share important stories with our many visitors, tend the grounds, and ensure funeral services are honorable. They take their work seriously, but also with a joy and sense of purpose that is very contagious. So thank you for that, guys. I'm really grateful to work with such a wonderful staff. Um, please, anybody with a flat hat on or the arrowhead on their shirt, if you have any questions, please just ask them. They would love to talk to you. Um, please stand as Sheriff Bryant of the Sumter County Sheriff's Department offers the benediction. We first must give thanks to each and every one of you in attendance this morning before we pray. We thank the men and women of the Sumter County Sheriff's Office for not only willing, but raring at an opportunity to assist in this occasion. And we say thank you on behalf of the men and women of public safety in Sumter and Macon counties. We thank each and every one of you for your attendance here this morning. And if you could see what I see from this position, I again say thank you. Let us pray. Grace Heaven Father, thank you again for this opportunity and this moment. Thank you for those that are being honored here today and their families. We ask that you shower their memory with happy memory of their loved ones. We ask that now, as we prepare for the next part of this ceremony, that you keep us safe, you watch over us as we go about the rest of this day. Keep everyone safe on the grounds here of this National Cemetery, but allow them to remember and reflect. And dear Lord, we thank you for the ability to never, never forget. We thank you, dear Lord, for your protection and your safety amongst us. We love you and we thank you. And we say, amen. amen. And I must honor and recognize the young people that have participated not only in today's ceremony, but as you move around today, the number of young people that are here today, we again say thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. It's hard to follow him. He's got the best voice. Um, before we begin placing raves, um, I'll remind you again what Mr. Pittman talked about. Um, we ask that you pause to read the name on the headstone to honor and remember that individual service member. Um, a few safety things. We try really hard not to have any fire ants, but there probably are some, so watch where you're walking. There's holes, especially where we put the avenue flags up, um, so just watch where you're walking. Um, the six <coughs> graves under the cedar trees up here, the raiders' graves, do not get any wreaths. Um, let's see, any headstone with the Star of David also does not get a wreath. Many of the headstones will have two names on them. We're only putting one wreath per grade, so put that on the veteran side of the, of the headstone, and you'll be able to tell which is which, okay? Um, if anybody needs assistance getting around, please uh, flag down one of the park rangers or volunteers here, and we will get you a shuttle there. Um, so with that, again, I want to thank all of you. Yes? I just wanted to say one other thing is that uh, one thing that we don't have to do is water these wreaths because good Lord's going to do that for us about five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can I take their picture? Yeah. All right, everybody smile. <laughs> one, two, three, raise your hands. Thank you, Jim. Oh, that's great. Thanks. I want to help you that, please. So, again, thanks everyone for being here. If you want to help with wreaths, um, during the year, just call somebody here at the park. We will get you.
get you hooked up with the right people. Um, so thank you for being here and select a section and let's get these reads put out. Thank you.